Welcome Pisces to your weekly reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the messages and possibilities coming through for you for the week of the 2nd to the 9th of September. Pisces, I'm going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area you should focus on. The third row are your possible challenges. The fourth row are messages and advice from spirit. And finally, the fifth row is the possible outcome of the week. Pisces, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Pisces, I'm going to start off over here with Four of Pentacles and we are looking at the possible energy at the beginning of the week and I'm just going to get your clarifier. So we want to see now what Four of Pentacles is for Pisces, please. And you have King of Pentacles. Pisces, what I'm seeing for you as we go into September, there is somebody coming through at the beginning of September presenting as King of Pentacles. Now this could be a masculine or feminine. It is the energy of King of Pentacles I am speaking about. Now this is a very grounded person. King of Pentacles is very good at managing their money. They're very realistic and they know how things work on the physical realm. If there is a particular area where you, my dear Pisces, might be struggling or having some kind of challenges, it doesn't have to be enormous. It could be, my dear Pisces, something to do with your career, your job and your finances. It could have something to do with a relationship that's not going as you expected it to go. King of Pentacles is coming in in this particular area, my dear Pisces, and they are going to give you a leg up. Either they've got very good advice for you or an excellent suggestion, or my dear Pisces, they might actually give you something or offer you something that will ease whatever this situation is for you. So if you're going through a very challenging period financially, King of Pentacles could come in and offer to help you and alleviate that pressure. If you are going through a very troubling period, say with somebody at work, perhaps you and your boss are not getting on and there's this uncomfortable tension between you, King of Pentacles could be either somebody at work, a colleague, a senior manager who will come in, sit down, talk to you and will help see you through this tricky situation. So we do see you getting help in some way, shape or form at the beginning of September. Let us move on and see what Ten of Cups is all about for you that is sitting in the area you should focus on. So we just want to see now what Ten of Cups is for Pisces, please. And you've got Queen of Cups. Pisces, this week you are presenting as Queen of Cups. It does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of Queen of Cups we are speaking about. And you, my dear Pisces, need to focus on your Ten of Cups. And Ten of Cups, my dear Pisces, is the happily ever after energy. So what? right now, my dear Pisces, is going to give you that energy of wish fulfillment, of accomplishing and attaining something you want the most. This is where you put all your energy, all your time and all your focus. Now, my dear Pisces, because this is coming up as something you should focus on, it tells us that there is possibility here and what it needs from you is your attention and your time. You know, my dear Pisces, when we focus on something we really want and we give it the time and the attention and the nurturing it needs, it helps energy grow and expand. 
And this is what you're being asked to do this week. So, for example, my dear Pisces, if Ten of Cups for you is the energy of meeting somebody that you can have a long-term romantic relationship with, then this would be the week that you really look at this energy closely. And my dear Pisces, you can do whatever comes easily and natural to you, but give it time and attention. This could be now meditating and visualizing the person you want to bring in. But go into the detail, my dear Pisces. What are they like? What will you do together? What does it feel like being with them? Go deep into this because this week, when you grow and expand this energy, it is going to bring Ten of Cups closer than ever before. Very nice to see, my dear Pisces. Now let us see what temperance is all about that is sitting in your possible challenges. Right, let us see now what temperance is all about for Pisces. And we have the star. My dear Pisces, with temperance and the star coming out under possible challenges, the good news is I do not feel that you have any big challenges coming up this week. Actually, my dear Pisces, I am seeing incredibly positive energy coming through here for you. Firstly, temperance is coming in and letting me know that, my dear Pisces, this is the week I do feel a lot of hope is going to come back into your life. You might have been waiting for things to get better, for things to manifest, waiting for an answer, waiting for an outcome. Of course, this will be so different for everybody. And sometimes, my dear Pisces, when we are in that waiting energy, it can wear us down a bit. But with this particular card, with our angel and her rainbow wings and the rainbow in the background, I feel you're going to be hearing very good and positive news that there's a lovely shift and change coming in for you in any area where you have been waiting. And this could very well be connected to our Four of Pentacles energy. This week, my dear Pisces, you're going to feel that you are blessed with all this rainbow energy and the star coming in. There are going to be actual occurrences in your life where you're going to acknowledge, my gosh, spirit is with me. Spirit loves me, sees me and is protecting me. Because what I see here, Pisces, that there is energy of miracles coming through for you. Now, it doesn't have to be big, ground-shattering things that happen. But it's the possibility of battling and being very concerned, say, about money. And then all of a sudden, there is a wonderful alleviation in that area. Being very concerned that you won't meet that right person, that no matter what you do and how you do it, that will always elude you. And then this week, you organically and naturally meet somebody with wonderful potential, somebody you can actually see yourself with. So, my dear Pisces, you can anticipate the energy of miracles springing up in unexpected directions. Very nice to see. Let's see what Three of Wands is all about that is sitting in messages and advice from Spirit. So we want to see now what this Three of Wands is for Pisces. And you have Two of Cups. Pisces, you have such a positive message coming through from Spirit. Spirit is confirming for you that this is the week, my dear Pisces, where you are going to see your ships coming in. And when your ships come in, it's a manifestation energy. Things are actually going to happen. It's not about dreaming and planning. This is now the week. Concrete things happen and come into play. 
Spirit is also confirming for you that there is going to be somebody coming through, my dear Pisces, and for a lot of you, I do feel it is King of Pentacles who's going to play a very significant role in your life. This is somebody who could be in your life at the moment, or it could be somebody new coming in. It does not matter, because with two of cups coming through here, under messages and advice from spirit, it's a blessed union. This person is meant to be in your life right now. You, my dear Pisces, have something to offer and give to them, and they have something to offer and give to you. It is a very symbiotic relationship. And Spirit wants you to know that whoever this person is for you and for however long they are in your life, this is going to be an important relationship for you. So my dear Pisces, whoever this is for you, whether it's somebody you know and your relationship gets deeper and stronger, or if it's somebody new coming in and you feel the potential of something wonderful, Either way, it is blessed and it will grow and it's going to be a very rich and rewarding relationship in your life. Now let's see what the possible outcome of the week is and I'm going to clarify Queen of Wands. So we just want to see now who or what Queen of Wands is for Pisces, please. Six of Wands. Now, Pisces, at the end of the week, we see somebody else coming in. Now, this person is representing as Queen of Wands. Once again, this could be a masculine or feminine. It is the energy of Queen of Wands I am speaking about. Now, my dear Pisces, this particular person is a very dynamic energy. They've got a very vivacious, outgoing personality, and they are also very connected to spirit. Now, the interesting energy I'm getting for you with Queen of Wands, my dear Pisces, is that I do feel that they are coming in at the end of the week with some very unexpected news that is going to have you feeling on top of the world. Now, this could come through anywhere. You could be interested, say, in a particular job and our Queen of Wands has got some information on how to get you an interview. You could be very interested in meeting somebody romantically and Queen of Wands has got a great idea of how you can meet this particular person. Whatever Queen of Wands is coming in with, Pisces, it gives you this energy of feeling so good about what this is for you. You see your way forward. You see that there's great possibility that whatever area this is coming through for you, there's a big chance that you are going to be highly successful. And now it's up to you to take whatever information Queen of Wands is sharing with you and get out there, my dear Pisces, and make something happen. It's a great way to end the week. Right, let's see now what your angels would like to share with you for this week. So let's see what Pisces angels would like to share, please. Opportunity. How wonderful, my dear Pisces. If we look closely, my dear Pisces, at all your messages, there are opportunities available to you in every way this week. We see two very strong personalities coming through with our King of Pentacles and Queen of Wands, both of whom are offering you very significant opportunities that can change things significantly for you. This Two of Cups relationship could either be Queen of Wands or King of Pentacles. Or for some of my Pisces, I do believe it will be both of these relationships that are going to be very significant in your life for some time. And you were told very beautifully to focus on your Ten of Cups 
you're happily ever after. And all this energy is the energy that is bringing you an immense amount of happiness and possibility. We saw, my dear Pisces, with temperance and the star coming in, that there was the energy of blessings popping up in unexpected places. This star energy now raining down upon you is very much connected to the shower of opportunity that your angels are showing us. Pisces, be prepared to be showered with blessings and opportunities. It's going to be a great week for you. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I am sending you all so much love.